Hi, Rocketeers. Welcome back to Phonics with Mrs. Myers. Happy Wednesday. I'm so glad that you're back. And actually, today we're just going to go ahead and jump right into our lesson. Now, this means that we're going to go ahead and skip our usual warm ups that we do at the beginning of our lessons and just jump right in. I know our videos have been a little bit long, so I want us to just jump right in because I want to make sure that we're able to understand our lesson today. Now, today we're gonna to continue focusing on some tricky sounding spelling patterns. Now, today we're gonna to practice a very specific sound pattern. It's called a schwa. Can you say that with me? Schwa. And I like this word a lot because it kind of reminds me of when a ninja is trying to like do a fighting move and they go, Shwa! <laughs> so I'm gonna draw a little ninja. Shwa! <laughs> now today, as we read and spell some words, we're gonna focus on identifying a schwa sound. Now a schwa is not necessarily a writing pattern, but it's a special sound that vowels can make. And when I sometimes look in the dictionary to sound out a word, on top of a letter might be this little symbol. It looks like this. And it looks like an upside down letter E. This tells me that the sound underneath this letter is a schwa sound. Now, a schwa is a weak or unclear vowel in a in a syllable that is not stressed. Now, last week we learned a lot about different spelling patterns, and this week we practiced some syllable sounds. Now, we're gonna go ahead and practice the schwa sound, but we're gonna practice it when there's the letter L or L attached to it. Usually the L schwa comes at the end of a word, comes at the end of a word. Very good. So. We're gonna go ahead and watch a video because this is kind of a hard topic to talk about and it gets really confusing. And Mrs. Myers has a hard time trying to explain it sometimes because it just takes a while. So we're gonna go ahead and watch a video to better explain what a schwa may sound like. Now in this video, it's actually a song and it's very cute. This video gives some examples of words that have a schwa sound. I want you to pay attention and look at the letters that's happening in the words that are glowing to see and hear how the vowel might look, but sound differently than the original sound that vowel is supposed to make. So I'm gonna go ahead and show you a video one more time. I want you to pay attention to what those vowels are supposed to say and what they actually sound like when the word is said out loud. Let's go ahead and watch this video together. A sound is sweeping across the nation. And it's somewhat hard to hear. You'll have to listen closely. Cup your hand against your ear. You hear it at the end of ladder, in banana and galah. In didgeridoo and barbecue, it's the great Australian schwa. It's not the er uh you hear in bird, it's the er uh at the end of farmer. And if you still can't hear it, well, let's try a little harder. If you open up a dictionary and look for how to make the sound, it's in the phonetic alphabet, little e that's upside down. It can be the first sound like above, ahead, echidna. It can also be the final sound like koala, pizza, dinner. Or you can find it in the middle, as in crocodile or fountain, in helmet, or in cannon, or in iron, or in mountain. If you can't tell words have schwa's in them, don't yell or cry or growl. Just break them into syllables. Each must contain a vowel. And 
if the vowel is hard to hear compared to those around it, it's probably a schwa sound. Thank goodness that you found it. And when the vowel is barely there, like a distant twinkling star, well, that little sound has got a name. The Great Australian Schwa. Of all the sounds in English, it's the most common one by far. Not E or U or OW or R, uh, it's all about the schwa. So stand tall and proud, Australia, and proclaim it wide and far. There's just one sound that we love most, the great Australian schwa. All right. So, in that video, we saw some examples of words that have a schwa sound. Now, we're going to go ahead and focus in a little bit on what that schwa can sound like. Let's practice how it sounds before we start reading. Let's practice how it sounds. I'm going to go ahead and say a word and we're going to practice segmenting that word. I want you to pay attention to how the vowel at the end of the word sounds. Okay, it's going to make a very special schwa sound, which usually kind of sounds like the uh sound. Uh, okay, here we go. The word is sandal. Say it. Sandal. My turn. Sandal. 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 Hmm. I heard oh, oh, oh at the end, but I didn't necessarily hear a vowel. Let's do another one. The word is crystal. Say it with me. Crystal. Found it. Crystal. Crystal. Hmm. That O sound did not have a vowel, making a schwa sound. Let's do one more. The word is final. Say it with me. Final. Sound it with me. I. N o. Final. That last sound says O. That's the schwa sound we're going to practice today. Now, when I say sandal and crystal and final, where do I hear that o sound? At the beginning or at the end? Go ahead and show me with your hands. Where do I hear that o sound? At the beginning or at the end? I hear it at the end. Very good. Now we're ready to see the spelling pattern. So I'm going to go ahead and show it to you. Now remember today we are focusing on our special schwa sound. There's our little ninja. Now the oh schwa sound comes at the end of a word, and usually it comes in four different spelling patterns. We have L-E, we have E-L, we have I-L, and we have A-L. Now for today, we're gonna go ahead and focus on two of these spelling patterns. We're gonna focus on I-L, oops. And we're gonna focus on A-L. Now these are tricky because you don't hear the I and you don't hear the A ah in these sounds. Instead, they make the sound Oh, this makes the sound oh, and that's our special schwa sound because it's being tricky like a ninja. So I'm going to show you some examples on the board. Here we go. Let's start with the first one. The word is pencil. Say it with me. Pencil. Very good. Now, if I was going to sound out this word, I would usually sound it out like this. P, eh, mm, s, 
Ickle, pencil. Hmm, but is that how we say that word, pencil? No, that sounds silly. We say this word like this. The word is pencil. Now this I is being extra, extra sneaky and it's not saying the sound it's supposed to. Instead, it's saying oh, pencil. Here's that schwa sound right here. Let's try another word. This word is evil. Say it with me. Evil. Now, if I sounded it out like this, e evil. Evil. Does that sound right? No. Instead, this I is being extra sneaky and it's saying a different sound. Instead, it says e evil. Evil. Very good. Let's look at one more. And this is the month that we're in right now. The word is April. Say it with me. April. Now, sometimes they sound it like this. April. April. No, that doesn't sound right either. Instead, this I is being extra tricky and it's making that schwa sound. It sounds like this. April, April. Mmm, that eye is being so tricky. There's our schwa sound. Now, sometimes when I see I-L at the end of the word, I can pronounce it like p ill but then as a good reader, I recognize that that doesn't sound right. So instead, I remember, oh, that's a schwa sound. This I must be quiet. So this word is pencil. Let's try it with our other schwa sound. Let's look at this word. The word is metal. Say it with me. Metal. My turn. M mm, e t a o metal. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. But I know this A is being extra sneaky like a ninja and it's saying a sound that it's not supposed to. Let's try it again with this A being quiet. My turn. Mm, et, oh, metal. Does that sound right? Yes, very good. And this A L is a schwa sound. Let's do two more. The word is Total, say it with me. Total. Now here's how I would sound it out. T -o -t -a -o. Total. That doesn't sound right. Hmm. I know this A is making a schwa sound and saying a sound it's not supposed to. Let's try again. T -o -t -o. Total. That sounds much better. Total. Here's our schwa sound. Last word. The word is final. Say it with me. Final. Let me sound it out. My turn. I n a o. Final. No, that doesn't sound right. I know this a is making what kind of a sound? A schwa sound. Let's try again. I n o. Final. Very good, friends. Now, I know that this can be really tricky, but remember, for today, we are practicing our schwa sounds. We're practicing our schwa sounds with I-L and A-L. Now, we're gonna go ahead and practice, and instead of doing some practicing today for spelling, we're actually gonna do some practicing reading. So we don't necessarily need our whiteboard and our, paper and our paper today, but instead, I want you to pay attention to the words. If you want some writing practice, you can use your whiteboard and your paper, but you don't have to today, okay? 
Now I'm gonna go ahead and write some words on the floor. And we're gonna practice reading these words all together. Let's get started. <laughs> Here's our first word. The word is general. Say it with me. General. I'm going to sound it out. Listen to how I sound it. I know this is a soft G. J. E. N. R. L. No. I C A L at the end of a word. Sometimes that A-L will make a schwa sound. This A says nothing. This L says a sound, let's sound it again. J, E, N, R, O. Very good. And I see our schwa sound. You know what, sorry, I meant to put these up here. Is A L and I L. There they are. Awesome job finding that schwa. Let's do another one. Remember, these schwas are sneaky. They're just like ninjas, they like to pop up on you. Let's try another one. Here we go. The word is stencil. Say it with me. Stencil, as in I use a stencil to write out the words. Stencil. I'm going to go ahead and sound out this word. Keep an eye out for that schwa. Here we go. Eh. Mmm. Ew. Stencil. That doesn't sound right. Hmm, what sound does this I-L, what is it gonna make, that I-L? What sound? Oh, very good, because that schwa is being so sneaky. Let's sound it again. Eh, mm. oh. The word is stencil. Very good, there's our schwa sound for today. Can we practice one more? All right, here we go. The word is gerbil, say it with me. Gerbil, sound it with me. J, er, B, il, gerbil. Mm -mm -mm. This I L is doing what? <gasps> There's a schwa sound. This I L makes this I stay silent. So this L says it's sound. I L is going to make the sound. Oh, let's sound it again. J, er. B. Oh, gerbil. Very good, friends. And we found our schwa sound. There it is. Awesome work. All right, my darling, I'm going to go ahead and read a short story to you today. As we read our story, I want you to look out for some of those words that might have I L or A L for that schwa sound. Our story's super short today, so keep an eye out for those schwa sounds. Here we go. My turn. One day, April found a fossil by her sandal. She had many questions, but knew it was not a horse or a bird. April used a pencil to trace it. It was a mammal with a small body. It was a gerbil. <laughs>
All right, my friends, we're gonna go ahead and stop right here. Thank you so much for coming and watching our video for today. I know this is a really, really tough skill, but honestly, this skill is gonna help you become a better reader so that when you get to second grade, you already know this schwa sound and you can become a faster reader. All right, my loves, we're gonna go ahead and stop right here. Tomorrow, we're gonna visit the other two schwa sounds and we're gonna review them all together. All right, my loves, have a great rest of your day. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.